my first experience, I was 18 and had a kid and everybody's always like, yo, what is this like? Because this is mm. like a whole different thing. One, I do not have my 18 year old body anymore because baby, that baby whooped my ass. I'll tell you that. It was easier on my body with my firstborn, but it mm. was easier on my mental with my secondborn. With my firstborn, I was young and I was going through so much and I went through so much as a kid already that by the time I was like going through what you would call a teenage pregnancy, I was like, well, life already with my now I might as well do the last final, you know, destination, which is teenage pregnancy, because I mm -hmm. didn't did everything else. Everybody kept asking me, like, yo, you ready? Like, you about to be a daddy? Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> how's it feel? And like, honestly, I didn't really feel anything per se, because like, yeah. again, I know I'm a step pops or whatever, but I feel like the main thing is still the main thing. And then another thing is like, we know all these statistics are like, uh, pregnancy is harder or not even harder, mm -hmm. but it's um. Is, is, is a higher chance for something to go wrong right. the older the, the older you get. Right. Right. So it's like, I'm like, man, I just want a healthy baby. We here. We look good. We look fly. Uh, put that, that on. on Shout out mama. mama. Not mine, though. What you mean? Put it on your mama. Sure. No, 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 no. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> get your stuff together, man. I'm sorry. She Yo, got well, on my nerves today. Your mother got on your nerves today? I feel like parents just be getting on, like, nerves. Once, once you get to a certain age. It's just like. But I just feel like that can't be, like, I feel like it's just us. Like, it can't be everybody. Like, y'all parents, if, if y'all got really good relationships with y'all parents, comment. Congrats. Um, yeah, just not nah, comment on, on the <laughs> comments and just say, yo, I got a great relationship with my parents. But it's I like. I that for y'all. Nah, facts. Nah, I do. Yeah. I get a little jealous sometimes. I do like, too. Damn. I do too. But I love my moms, though. Mine too. It's just from a distance. Yeah, I don't know. Like, <laughs> I think it just. I think what happens is to be, distance. to be honest. I think what happens is, uh, you know, when you have to, when you forced in the world by yourself alone, yeah, it's like all you know is survive on your own. Mm -hmm. So like, I guess that's when the distance is created. Now, some people, they have so much support from their parents that it's like there's no distance it's, created. Yeah, it's no, it's yeah. no distance created. So it's like it's the necessary. friendships is, is always there's like a best friend almost. Mm -hmm. Right, so like I wish, um, and I'm gonna try. I'm 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 gonna try to definitely, uh, get s close the gap because I feel like I do want that relationship. Yeah. I really do. Yeah, well, I, you know, I'm just gonna shout out myself because I have a great relationship with my daughter. Are you so petty? To have a continue to have great relationships <laughs> with my what's daughter. What's up with you? No, I'm saying I think that's just uh breaking some generational curses. That's how you break the barriers. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, it's okay. You know, just. Pay it forward. That's all. Mm. Yeah. You look good, though. Thanks, babe. Yo, how you feeling? Let's get back to it, right? You know, I'm a little hot. It's hot, for you know? sure. Like, this little... The, the, the spot is dope, but yeah. it's like... But since we're talking about childbirth, too, it's probably just too that, you know, my hormones are still a little all unbalanced, so I'm mm. probably also double hot just because. Double hot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I feel, And you got a sweatsuit on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it look good, though. Thanks. You ready to get this thing started? Let's do it. I feel like we ain't do this in a long time. It's been a while. Let's get back to it. Okay. Yo, what's poppin'? You know what time it is? Your boy Jay Hill, uh, Sade. A.K.A. She Hilla Sade, Bay, Hilla Bay. But best known as She Sade. Yeah. Gemini Scorpio yes. Podcast. It's about that time. It's episode... 79. It's about that time. It's episode... 79. Ah, 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 ah. Because you tried to bet me last time you won, and ah, that's ah, why... Ah, I should I was close, though. No, you didn't peep that at ROM. What happened? That was a whole rap. Oh, shit. It's Gemini Scorpio Podcast. It's about that time. Episode... 79. About that 79. You did it twice. You right. I missed it. Man. One of my head. It did. It's it's not good, even lie. You know? But that was good. That was good. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we back here. J Hill. Shot eight. Um, she shot a Hilla Bay. Yes. Um, we 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 came back. We wanted to do this. Um, we want to be super intentional. This go around. You want to mm -hmm. tell them our our dreams and hopes, or yeah. Well, we're grown now. Facts. <laughs> yeah. We got a little more mature. Yeah. yeah. When did we start this thing? 2018. 2018. 2019. 2019. 2019. COVID. COVID. Yeah, just the beginning of just COVID. Just the beginning. 2019. Yeah. So yeah. we just want to be super intentional about this. Yeah. Right? Like, we want to, um, it's still giving millennial relationships, still giving, mm -hmm. you know, fun, toxic vibes to our, right. our culture, where right. we are, right? So it's still going to be like your everyday relationship from the perspective of us, but we still want to be more intentional with our message for yes. sure. Yes. And what and what we're putting out there as of well. Of course, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. So yeah, and I think you said that perfectly. Yeah, we could talk about toxic things, but don't be toxic. Yeah. We can have toxic moments. How and we not gonna be... fix it? Like, boom. What are we gonna do about it? Facts. Boom. Let's boom. get to it, then, babe. Okay. Congratulations. I know uh, your friends and supporters want to know what's going on. How was it? They want to know all about uh, it. Childbirth. Everything. Everything. Yeah. I don't even, uh, 
Where do we start? So, I don't even know, but um, you know, we just had a baby. Yes, Miss Little Alani, aka Chummy Mommy, Yummy Yummy Mommy. She's so cute. Um, and it was a journey. Yeah. It was a journey. I, I think pregnancy was easy for me, though. Well, okay, let me correct that. I had an easier pregnancy than I could have imagined. Mm. Why do you think so? Well, because I didn't really worry about anything. Like, mm. to be honest, like, I wasn't working. I got to relax. Well, I worked up until, like, five months, but that was it. Like, after five months, I got to relax and just kind of be intentional, get everything in place that I wanted to do when Alani came, you know, organize all our little our little things that we do daily mm -hmm. in and out your stuff and my stuff we was just kind of like figuring things out like how we were going to do things and uh, it was easy it was summer we was cooking out i was just eating sitting by the pool eating fruit juicing making fresh juice it was cool like how I was didn't... this experience compared to the last one though, oh my right? god it's it's so funny because uh you know, I have, well, if you've watched before, you know I have an older daughter that's 14. And this is a huge age gap from my new baby, which is just a month on Wednesday. So my first experience, I was 18 and had a kid. And everybody's always like, yo, what is this like? Because this is like a whole different thing. And one, it's a couple things. One, I do not have my 18-year-old body anymore because baby, that baby whooped my ass. I'll say that. Uh, it was easier on my body with my firstborn, but it mm. was easier on my mental with my secondborn. Mm. You know, because like with my firstborn, I was young. Um, but what I what I like to express is like, you know, I was young and I was going through so much and I went through so much as a kid already that by the time I was like going through what you would call a teenage pregnancy, I was like, well, life already with my ass now. I might as well do the last final, you know, destination, which is teenage pregnancy because I mm. didn't did everything else. Right. Yeah. So it was kind of like I was already in survival mode. So it was like another thing that like I just had to survive and I wasn't really thinking about it it was just like i have to survive i have to survive for my kid my kid has to survive right um this one it, it's more intentional you know it's, it was, it's with a partner that i've been with for a long time and it's 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 different because it's more like a, a choice you know right. it's not like an accident it's not like you know oh my god like I, I can't tell my parents i can't tell my friends this is totally like let's share with the world let's you know have this baby so um it's a complete different experience especially because this go around i have a partner you know that is all hands in you know what i mean so yeah it's it's completely different completely you know it's, different. it's crazy because like you know as like when you got pregnant and as the uh, pregnancy uh pro uh went along and you got further along everybody kept asking me like yo you ready like you about to be a daddy like <laughs> like how's it feel and like honestly um i said this before i didn't really feel anything per se because like yeah. again i know i'm a step pops or whatever but i feel like I've been there with Amaya since she was eight, right? Yeah. She's 14. Yeah. And it's like, I, I was telling my friend, uh, Wolf, shout out to uh, Wolf, whatever. Shout out to Wolf. I was telling him, like, at the end of the day, the bo the, the bottom line is still the bottom line. Yeah. Right? Like, the main it's, thing is still right. the main thing. Still got to be, I, lead by example, you get be a man, exact, be a daddy. Yeah. Exactly. So it's okay, like, yeah. That's fair. And everybody like, man, it's different. It's different. And yeah. It is different. Like, now yeah, that yeah, I see yeah. her, she looks got like my face and stuff. It's different. But at the end of the day, the main thing is still the main thing. So it was like, I, I, it's, still, it's still hard for me yeah. to to like look at it any different. understand yeah. you know what i'm saying but um you know and then another thing is like we know all these statistics are like uh pregnancy is harder or not even harder mm -hmm. but it's um it's, it's it's a higher chance for something to go wrong right. the older the, the older you get right right so it's like i'm like man i just want a healthy baby right, right? like right. um oh, we got one not nah, facts yeah, yeah, yeah so just going through it i was just man i will my mom was just wasn't. I was just like, man, as long as I get a healthy baby, right, as right. my moms would say, ten toes, ten fingers. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. We right. good. So it was so, and it's 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 sad that we gotta go through that as mm -hmm. just like African American or just humans in general, yeah. right? I don't even want to put a race to it that we got that that is a possibility that something can happen. Right. Right. And, and it's, it's it's so many other. <laughs> It's not even like the little things that you think to like outside of like, you know, I don't know, maybe allergies or, mm. you know, they may, maybe they have a peanut allergy or it's so many things like, you know, Down syndrome, mm. um, you know, well, autism, I'm, I'm, autism excuse mm -hmm. me, I can't get the word down, autism, um, or even just like herring. Mm. You know what I mean? Blindness. Like it's so many things. The color uh, thing, I don't even know uh, about uh, that. Jaundice. Yeah. Oh, high know. levels of jaundice. And it's just it's just a lot, like you know. And no matter what you prepare for, mm. it could really be and go whatever way it wants to go. Like no matter how much you prepare, you could be the healthiest person in the world, and still genetics or it's just that you know. Is what, what you said something the other day that I really like uh, that you heard 
he was like, sometimes it's just your turn. Like, yeah. you know what Ooh. I'm saying? It's not, oh, it's not even hard. nothing you did. It's not nothing your baby did. Sometimes, sometimes it's just. Sometimes you're trying to go through some stuff. It's just sometimes oh. it's your turn to go through Somebody some stuff. told me that, yeah. bro. I was like, sheesh. Yeah. Like, cause I, and my, it's a real, it's so real. Yeah, like life can't always be good, right? It's, yeah. it's always peaks and valleys and ups and downs throughout mm-hmm. life, period. So we know that. So when things go wrong, somebody looked at me and they was like, bro, maybe it's just your time to go through something. It, <laughs> I was like, Damn. like somebody let's let you be going through something and somebody say that to you. It's like you can't even be like, mad. What do you say? Like nothing. It's like I Damn. guess it is. Then. Like, I guess it's crazy. my turn. It's my turn. Yeah. Damn, that's yeah. crazy. That's but, real. but yeah, so like, what were some of the um? I guess the the lows of the pregnancy. Lows of the pregnancy was. We moved, mm-hmm. and all my tribe is still in the DMV. Mm. So we're in Atlanta, and we're on year two, and I still haven't fully solidified an actual tribe here. Like, I definitely have some good acquaintances and um, some good, cool people that I could call to hang out with. But my tribe, like, my girls are back home. You mm. know what I mean? And life was life in for everybody. You know, like, the my first year here, my friends were flying out, like, the boatloads. Second year, it wasn't as frequent, obviously, because lives is happening. People have kids. People have jobs. It wasn't as easy. Um, COVID's over. Everybody's getting called back to the office. Things are different. So mm. my friends weren't coming as much that y- this year. So it just seemed like, you know, the one time I probably needed to be around a village, like I still kind of had to deal with like, um, it just couldn't be that way right now. But what I will say, it was a pro and a con to it because I also did enjoy the intentional placement of our family what our family was Mm. doing like we were spending a lot more time together like even all summer like we did just we didn't get to go and travel like you know I'm getting big as hell and you know what I'm saying we didn't do the amusement park things and because I can't it was a lot I couldn't do but we spent so much time we would cook out all the time you know play games do the pool and we spent so much intentional time and I think that was still cool for me because I got to I didn't get to lean on anybody else I had to lean on my family Mm. my immediate family you know so sometimes we have like a lot of distractions and in the house like you know you want to keep leaning on your friends leaning on your girls leaning on you know cousins and stuff that you want to hang out with but sometimes you just need to lean in on your family like your in-house family uh how like what's coming what's next and let's Let's lean in on each other and really be here for each other. And I think that was special. So I kind of got like, it was like a pro and a con to it. Because I did, at first it was hard. Because it was like, I just want my girls. I want to be around my friends. I want to hug for my friends. And you know, and my pregnancy hormones was through the damn roof. So I'm like, I just want to hug my bestie. I just want to hug my bestie every time. Like I felt something crazy, you know. Because as a girl, you know, some things only girls can give girls. You know, like my good girlfriend only can give me that. You know what I mean? But so, speaking of your hormones, hold yeah. up. Hold up. That's not fast forward <laughs> through this, right? We got in what? Two... Uh, real arguments throughout the pregnancy was it two or was it more than I, I, I mean like I two three two. like they weren't but like like you said like it was crazy that you said like real arguments because they didn't really you know we done came from some places that's what I'm saying but, I, but no you know what I'm I mean? saying I, was count, I think like, we're like we done came from some even places even it was three not ten months yeah, ten months first of all 40 told weeks me, five days three, listen yeah, somebody, I'll give you the exact numbers nobody told me that pregnancy is ten months 40 weeks where do y'all where, where do we get nine months from why do we even say so, that so they count it, if I'm saying this correctly, it's because they count it from your last menstrual shi- cycle. So it's only going to go a month. That's already one month. That, that's you know the what most I mean? that's the, yeah, BS it is. Stuff ever, but whatever. So back to Oh, the, yeah, for everybody. Because, like, you get to nine months and they're like, yeah, you're nine months pregnancy. And really, you still have four more weeks. Facts. So it's annoying. So, so like, It's annoying because, like, so why you tell me that? We had three yeah. real arguments. Shout yeah. out to us. Shout out to us. And I think we also came back from them very well. Yeah. I think that's the bigger thing. For me, because I think, I know for me, I can speak for myself, when we used to have our big blow-ups, like, I have a hard time coming back from mm. them. Like, you were a little more like, man, let's work this out. I don't know, fuck everything because I don't want to do anything. Mm. Like, you know what I mean? So, I think that, uh, for me, I can say I felt like I learned how to not get over things quicker, but, like, I I'm, I am not going to lie. I'm a grudge holder sometimes. Mm. Like, if something really hurts my feelings, I could hold it for a very, very long time. Which is something I've had to work on like tremendously because I could hold it. You know what I mean? And I think that like even there was points in our relationship, there was things that was still I would hold, even though we would kind of move past it, I would hold. But it wasn't things that I was holding. It was like we'd get through it. We would have our, the little we the out of the three, we'd have our little moment and I'd get over it. I mm-hmm. wouldn't hold it. You know what I mean? I felt like it was just So let me ask you yeah. this then. Let's have a conversation. <laughs> Do you think a lot of that is because of the money? Or you, because you ain't like you said, it was yeah. a lot easier. You ain't had to do too yeah. much. No, I will say it was for me. 
it was because I was very intentional. I did not want to stress while I was pregnant. Like that was really something I didn't want to oh, do. Oh, so I was being I was basically like being selfish. I was saying to make it all about me when it really was about you. Yeah, you're acting real crazy because it that's was that's fire not. though. No, <laughs> not, it was, but not that me. I talk. I talk, we talk about yeah. love and like my, yeah. me being um, faithful and stuff. And I always say yeah. it's about me. Yeah. But that's something that people that was go, for like, me. Yeah, like, that's and, crazy. I, and my friends would tell you like I was very much because you know we have our friends and I, you know we have our close core friends and they know where we've journeyed through and stuff like that. And when I talked to them, I was telling them like regardless of what happened, like I just wanted to make sure that. I was not contributing to stressing my mm. body, my mental, my baby. I wanted to whatever I had to do to keep as calm and get better as possible. I needed to do because I did not want to play a factor in something going wrong. Mm. So like for me, it wasn't that I was just I think I was also more prone to back down because mm. I was like, you know, what, some things just wasn't worth it. And, you know, we were very serious about this baby. So I was just like, it's not worth it. Like. Mm. It's not worth holding on to it. It's not worth going back and forth to it. It's not worth even potentially, like, breaking the home for it. Like, nothing mm. was, at that point, nothing was worth it. And we weren't arguing about anything crazy, but, you know, like, some things be small and build up and it turn into something crazy. But nothing was worth, like, us beefing long amount of time, a long-term time when we had to have this baby and we mm. needed to create a home that was as happy and healthy as possible. So that's It's, it's crazy to say that because, like, even with... Um you making you prioritizing yourself and the health of your baby, yeah. our, our baby. Uh, oh, I right? wasn't playing no games. That's serious, for sure. and, and it's crazy because like just just thinking about the relationship aspect of any relationship, mm -hmm. I feel like that's a uh, that's a big learning moment yeah. for that as well. Because we could we could have been going into it like exactly. That. Right, and <laughs> no, a lot of times real. I feel like a lot of times we take things personal, even with like let's say let's just let's blame it on your hormones for a second, yeah. right? Because we can acknowledge that the hormones fluctuates during yeah. pregnancy, during any major change right. in the body, right? Imagine if, like a lot of times, I'm, and, and I think I went wrong with this, like a lot of times when things will go wrong with you and you will be upset, I would take it personal like as if I did something. Yeah. Right? And I had to learn how to not take it personal, but not take it personable, but let that be that. Right. Right? Even if it is about me, just let that be that. Right. Like if it's about not washing the dishes, cool. It's let just that about be that. that. It's not about nothing personal. And I remember we used to have a conversation a long time ago about how like, I think you actually brought this to my attention. Basically, like you'll you'll point out one thing, and I'll be like, "But I did this, 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 mm -hmm. and this." And like, bro, like just because I said, it I don't know, you ain't clean. It don't mean you you're a bad boyfriend, or right. or you ain't do one, two, three, right. four, and five. You feel me? Like, so I think. But to, as humans, I think it, it's it's easy as for easy for us to fall in that trap. But I do also think that I think that there's certain parts of life you're gonna go through that are gonna make major shifts through you mm. i think childbirth is a very big one of them mm. i think it's close to when you experience death of a close person like somebody close to you i think it's just as much as if you just it's like a major anything like a major transition like mm. think major transition it's gonna create a major growth trans well i would hope like you know what i mean it transfers you in some way you know mm. and i think i learned so much this childbirth because i was older there was things that I, I seen that I could see like for what it was versus not understanding or using the discernment from when I was younger. You know what I mean? So there that was a big thing that I learned, like you said, like and like you said, like, why didn't why don't we already approach situations like that? Like, mm. you know, these things are not that deep. Yeah. A little lighthearted, a little or, like or how to just be I think, content with what's happening like in front you of you. Saying, though, right? I think um a lot of times we paint these pictures of these words, and yeah, the, the definition might be negative, but we can, shit, we say nigga. We call each other nigga. So we can make yeah. that positive. We can make anything <laughs> else positive, right? Fair enough. So I feel like um, when we talk about being selfish, yeah, it has a negative definition by, yeah. by law, right? But Sometimes we, we're all selfish. We can, we, sometimes. We, but we, or we can be selfish in a positive way, right? right. Think about it. You, you say something. I'm trying, trying to talk, go back home with it. You being selfish saying, you know what? This is for me, yeah. Right? If mm -hmm. if Jay is here or not, yeah. This is for me, so I don't do anything to contribute to my 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 daughter mm -hmm. being unhealthy, mm -hmm. right? So I'm gonna make this about me mm -hmm. and what I got going on, right? I feel like even if like you say, yo, you ain't washed the dishes, shit. Let me look yeah. at it like, yo, what can I can I do yeah. something better, right? How can I how can I get better, right? right? I feel like if we if we own it on mm -hmm. our on ourselves, and I think it's a definition for that, it would just be accountability, right? right? Or like, no, that's true. Like, and I, I what I like what I learned 
through childbirth is I checked myself a lot because mm. I had to because my hormones were so all over the place and I knew that I didn't want to fall into the trap of anybody's depression or and I also knew that I was trying to already steer my emotions for even later before any postpartum depression can happen. So mm. I had to check myself a lot and when your hormones are high, you can easily feed into whatever your brain is telling you, right? Mm. So like for example, you would like say you did something I didn't like, or like say I, like, I was well, specific. I, like specific. Like for example, um, what was something I, that I did that you didn't like? Let's, let's argue. What? Well, let's argue is great. <laughs> <laughs> let's argue. No, I'm trying to think of one specific because yeah. it, it was happening. Like first of all, that's not. I'm not saying it wasn't happening. Yeah. What I'm saying is I'm trying to pinpoint it so you guys. Demon time. No, like I'm trying to pinpoint it. Okay, wait. Let me make the point and then I'm gonna try to pinpoint it. Right, so what? for example, you would. Say you would do something. I'm in my head like this nigga. I hate when he. Then Bro, I didn't like, do nothing. Never please, did nothing. Please. During pregnancy, what I do? <laughs> nothing. I'm. You aren't like doing things, but you do things. Like you're like, human. What? You're not perfect. What you think? What you mean I ain't perfect? You heard what I said. All right, cool. But all right, for example, right? In that same sentence, like you like, I'm like you ain't perfect. I would literally be. Like this nigga, da, da 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 da. But then I would have to literally check myself and be like, "But girl, mm. you know what I mean? Like, cause I'm sure, Bet. you know what I'm saying. So, for example, if I was complaining about something, like, all right, one of them was like, I was pregnant, but you were working two jobs. Mm -hmm. Am I in dance? Like, mm -hmm. so there was things I still had to do. Like, mm -hmm. I still had to, like, for example, cook. There was mornings I was so fatigued and tired from being pregnant, I did not want to get up and cook because I was tired. But I had to eat. I had to feed my baby. I had to be healthy. And right? Then yours, you'll get I up. I would be mad. And be like, you ain't cook me nothing. Nobody ain't cook me no breakfast, right? Like, like for bro, example, I'm like, damn, I'm here. pregnant. Somebody could cook me some fucking breakfast. Like, I'm tired of getting up. My feet are swollen. You know what I'm saying? I had all these reasons, but I would have to stop myself as like. And kind of look like, but he's working two jobs. I'm sure he's tired. I know, you know what I'm saying? He probably he want he probably want to eat too, but he can't stop. So he why you never came to me and apologize for that? Why I need to apologize? I would make you breakfast and but bring you it to your desk. But you would give me mad attitudes sometimes. No, no, no. See, you see how you just flipped no, that? No, you see how you just no, fake you took did. accountability? No, I didn't fake take Bro, accountability. You just said I took accountability. You did it. What I'm saying is there... <laughs> you just fake took accountability. No. Now I need my apology because no. you never apologized no. for that. No, because... And I, 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 Okay, you. I don't like the way you twisted that, but I will apologize. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. I apologize for those moments, right? But I, hey, what you, I no, no, it's not a but. The, no, oh you said but. Listen to the point I'm trying the to make. The moment you say but, everything not, else before it's not this, negated. This I'm not negating anything that I said, right? So let me reassure you of that. I'm not negating the apology. What I'm saying is, so apologize again. Why? So, so I already can, apologize. So, now you're being you crazy. But. I didn't say but. Let's I'm not saying right. but for that reason though. You're taking it too far. And I'm I know saying that. let's just start over. <laughs> Why? Let's, let's start over. You went to, I apologize for the moments that I would be upset with you for not making me breakfast because I understood that you had a lot going on too. Thank you, babe. You're welcome. I accept your apology. Thank you. In hindsight, because hindsight is... Reflecting. Right. Okay. 2020. Mm -hmm. Right. What was happening too is I would see it and I would do something about it. So I'm like, okay, I'm, don't be upset. Go on to make the breakfast I'd time. bring... But more times than none, I would bring you. Come on, yeah, 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 yeah. Come nah, on sure. now, and I was no, 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 for sure. For food sure. and shit to your desk all the time. Was, come yeah, on, nah. I was cooking like a month. You got you. Know what I'm trying to say. You got it. You got it. I would just what I would do is don't trip. This is your job. This is your duty. He's do, he's working. You do what you got to do. Don't be upset about it. So yeah, there was times that I was upset about it. But what I would do, I would take, I would take it on the, I would take it on the chain. And what I would say is right. It was time. Basically, mm -hmm. it was times when you Sorry. felt that way when I didn't even know. Cause right. I wouldn't know. Exactly. So, yeah. Shout out. Yeah. Yeah. You, that's you what get, I'm saying. That's what I'm oh, saying. Like. Yeah. See. No you apologize. Know I mean, that's that's like me saying <laughs> nah, I, I nah, need a brownie right, for right, doing right, the right cool, thing. Cool, I mean, cool, that's cool, what cool. we. Cool. I'll get another apology somewhere else because right. you just dragged it. Yeah, let me ask you this then. Since we here, since we spicy, let's let's have fun with it. I feel like a lot of my guys feel the same way. About what? Bro, why are women always only make it about them when they're pregnant? Like we not going through a lot either. Okay. In fairness. Right, you guys absolutely share the burden of pregnancy. Reassuring, you do. Here we go. However, however, the load is so heavy on women's body that there's no way in hell that you can have an equal cele celebratory moment of that. You get what I'm trying to say? My like, you you like for example, you know how some men say. I mean, my wife was pregnant. I was just there. Yeah, for sure. At the end of the day, that's 100%. really what's happening, though. You know what I'm saying? While I'm experiencing all the emotions, the pain, the the stretching, the 
my body is literally something else. Like it's a completely different organ at this point. It's not even me. I'm sharing it. I'm everything's different. Mm-hmm. You can't share that with me. You know that's what I'm saying? True. However, you can share a lot of bur- a other lot burdens. of other burdens, and that's true. That's true. And I think if it it can be fair and said fairly if everybody just acknowledges both. But you know I what I'm think, saying? So I feel like if, if women... I, I don't like, think women acknowledge both. They, for the most part, I can't say all women. Well, right. For the most part, they only acknowledge them and the stuff that's going okay, through with them. Okay, but you're saying for the most part, you don't know most women. One. Just like from my saying. experience. Okay, from your... From, from you only have one baby. Yeah, but I mean, I, we have social media. We see it. We hear. We see people talking and writing about but it. But that doesn't mean you don't podcasts. see the other side. Right? There's still another side. So all I'm saying is this, right? I get what you're saying. However, I also think the same way you can speak for your homies, right? I feel like women, or I've heard and seen in her, that they don't get the credit of carrying that Babe, burden a who, lot. Let me ask you this. And I don't mean just no, no. When you say let me, credit, let me let me let me let me clarify. Ahead, it's think? not just credit like thank you, you carried my baby. I'm talking about really acknowledging the emotional toll that it takes as well on top of it. It's not just a physical toll. It's an emotional toll mm-hmm. that comes with it. And I feel like a lot of times people are caring about the woman, but they're also more so caring about the baby that the woman is carrying. And a lot of times women are not cared for. And you want to feel cared for. They want to feel you cared for. Everything's about, okay, okay you want to sit down because of the baby. Oh, you want me to do that because of the baby. Or you want me to because of the baby. It's not because of who you are and because you are carrying this baby. And because we need you and we need you, it's always about the baby, the baby, the baby. So they end up taking a back seat. You know what I'm saying? So, and that's just some um, some hindsight to it because if women felt more cared for outside of the of a man just caring about them because they're carrying their child. You get what I'm saying? Not because they care about them, the carrier of their child. You get what I'm trying to say? I, like I think that. it's a difference. Like, like it's a that. huge difference. Big shit. What happened? It's like a little... Oh, because I'm sweating. It's just that And it's trying to it's stick like, to my forehead. No, not even forehead, but like these parts. Uh, sure my you flyaway. Well, you just probably can't see hot. that. Yeah, you probably can't see that. Yeah. All right, so back to what I was about to say. All right, so, um, thank you. No problem. That's cool, and I, I understand. I'm not even not even that cool. I yeah. think I, I put I made a post today, and, and this is uh, and this now that we having this conversation, this reminded me of this. I didn't make this post because of this, but now that we having the conversation, it reminded me of this. The post said, uh, everybody dealing with a lot right now. Right. I pray we all have peace. For right? sure. But I wrote something underneath this that I thought was super mm-hmm. important because what happened is. Because you're going through a lot, mm-hmm. you automatically treat me a different way. And I don't think that's fair. And I feel like because, like, so tying it back home, mm-hmm. you're pregnant, you're mm-hmm. going through a lot. Mm-hmm. I'm the father of your child. I'm with you. I'm going through a lot as well. Right, for sure. We can go through a lot together. But I feel like a lot of, from my experience, mm-hmm. the woman feel these feelings and they, I don't want to say lash out. I'm looking for a good word. They, I feel like they redirect their emotions to the person that they're with. And I don't think that's fair. Yeah, that's I mean, what I don't think is fair. I definitely think it happens. You know, I'm not going to say it doesn't. Um, and it, I'm not going to give an excuse for it because sometimes it is a hard balance. Like it's no different than a mom with multiple kids that are yelling at her kids to sit the fuck down because she had a long day at work. But you know that's not right either. It's not. I'm not saying none of it's right. Mm. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is it is normal though. Like you know, some things, it's not right, but it's not. But it should be not, normal. It's sh- okay. Let me paint a picture. Hold up, if you don't mind, or you want to finish. Let me just finish this stuff. It's when I say normal, I'm not saying like normal, like let's normalize it. Mm-hmm. When I'm saying it, it happens because people are human. You get what I'm saying? Like to sit here and act like people can't get frustrated, people and, and frustrated with you. You get what I'm saying? Sometimes people have a hard time believing. Like, no, you just make me frustrated. No, you know or, what I mean? No, you be frustrated make, because of what's going what's going on with no, you. And then but you, sometimes, but sometimes I don't think nothing doing me. No, that's not true though. Sometimes it's a it's a it's a a, a mixture a mixture of it. Like I'm going through a lot, and you're doing stupid shit, and I'm working no, two but, jobs but, right now. But no, no. But see that. But that's the thing. That's still true. But it doesn't mean that you don't be doing stupid no, shit. No, I'm saying like... Or it's shit that just don't be annoying. I'm saying... Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, people get that's, annoyed. And like, that's okay. Like, for example, right? Like like you said, it's been times where you took it on the chin and that's dope. Right. I think, like, that's dope, right? I wouldn't have known that because, mm-hmm. again, that's... For that one thing. Yeah. yeah. Let me just yeah. say that one thing. I wouldn't know, but in, in fairness, that's like you saying... That's like me saying, I think I should get uh, saluted for not cheating. You would say, bro, that's what you're you supposed did say to that do. Before, yeah, though. I did. Yeah. I did. I did. But I also said that I need to acknowledge that that was a big problem first. We we got through that, right? I I, I to, in order to apology, get saluted, I don't remember that. 
Oh, for sure. I apologize for whatever. I apologize <laughs> for um not um for not expressing how much of a hard time that was for me, how much um Okay, that's nice. That um to be committed and really be um uh have I don't know, just self control. You know what right. I'm saying? Like I didn't understand just being honest, like before right. I even before I got with you, I didn't think that that was a deal until I had to face it. I was put right. in the fire. Right. right. So I didn't understand how hard that was on me. Right. right? So uh yeah, I was looking for uh salutes and um salutations, I guess that's the right word for it, or just compliments or props. Trophies. Trophies for doing the right thing when you didn't know that about right. me. So okay, you fair. couldn't have gave me that. Fair. Back to what I was saying. I feel like Thank you. In those moments, right? Just mm-hmm. going back to the point. When you don't do that, I'm looking at it as, as if that's normal. That's that's what yeah, you're that's supposed what to do, you do, right? So when you do get upset, mm-hmm. that's abnormal to me because it's like, bro, we're both holding out, and you you just said you ain't had to work, right? So let's just say again, this is ain't, ain't the point. No fingers. We just for sake of conversation. Yeah. In the moment that you don't do it, right? And your mind is like, man, I didn't trip. No, out of ten times, I ain't trip eight, right? Okay, and that's pretty good. That is but on, very a, good. on a ninth time, right? I'm thinking much. you shouldn't trip at all because, right. bro, you you don't have to work, right? Because I'm working. It's things you don't have to do because I'm doing things I don't have to do because you're doing. We mm-hmm. plan our part. So the moment you get upset about out the part mm-hmm. that's being played, that's unfair for me. Can I ask you a question though? You well, do you think you're above like being annoyed with people just for no reason? You don't think you come home from work sometime and just be annoyed and then you don't treat people that way? No, I don't. You don't think I, no, no, you do that? No, 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 no. I'm, no, I'm not. I'm saying, you I, saying you I don't think, think I'm above, above it. it. Okay. All I'm saying is I'm acknowledging that when I do it, even if I don't, because again we're talking here in hindsight. So everything we're saying. We're just helping you get through it, hopefully, so you see this and it could be a reminder. Yeah. But everything we said is easier said than done. For sure. In the moment, com- in the moment, looking back on it compared yeah. to being in the moment of it, right? So all I'm saying is I don't think I'm above it, but I also can look back on it and acknowledge that I, d- I was wrong for treating you away because I felt the way about what's going on with me. Right. That's all I'm saying. So, so I hear you, one. I hear what you're saying. And you're right. Like, it's not right, like, for people to be frustrated with their current Not situation frustrated, or frustrated it out on no, okay the, no follow me Go be ahead. frustrated in lashing out their frustrations on people would do regardless of the circumstance whether it's pregnancy whether it's lost a job whether it's i don't know whatever you may go, be going through it's not okay to lash out on another person mm. at all it's never okay that's not right um like i said i just think that for example sometimes when you're first in line to me. A lot of time, I need time to myself and I can't get it. You know what I'm trying to say? So I live with mm. my man. I live with my kids. Those are the first people in line to me. Sometimes I don't have a moment to take to myself because of every duty. And that's not just me. I'm talking about for people right. in general. Right. Like right. whether it's your wife or your girl or your brother or your sister, you could live with roommates. I don't give a damn who it is. If I don't know, if I'm at work and something crazy happened at work and I go straight home after work, I don't have no time to myself. I don't stop at no park. I don't go take a hike. I don't go take a swim, blow some steam off, go to the boxing gym, whatever it may be that you do to blow steam. And I go straight in the house and my roommate come, yo, let me tell you about, yo, hold the fuck up, please. Mm. Give me a second. Yeah, <laughs> like, you got, I'm you sorry. Got point, you got a point. Well, and, and I think like, that's why I said it's not, nor- don't normalize it, but understand. I understand that people are going to be people because we're people, you know what I mean? So if I don't have a moment to decompress and you guys are the first line, but what I do think is important because this is something I practice with my daughter and maybe I might've fell short with this with you uh, because I may have had more grace for my daughter than I have with you because, you know, your kid is your kid. So I might've had more grace with her. So like if I do it with my daughter, I instantly apologize. You know what I'm trying to say? I might have not did that with you. I might, we might have gotten over it in different ways. Sometimes I might apologize. Sometimes I didn't. So I apologize for that because I'm, you know, I'm probably better at it now than I was, right? But like if my daughter, if I was having a bad day at work or something, or my day was frustrating, and I like I not lashed out with my daughter, but I was like probably like not the nicest when she asked me something or she was asking me something. I'm like, I'm like, like wait, mm. give me a second. I will always go apologize to her mm. because I will feel bad. Like you know what? I'm sorry. Like I was, I was just, you know, and I expressed to her, I was, mommy just was overwhelmed. Ooh, ooh. I might have not have had that same thing with you, you know what I mean? Because again, uh, still balancing how to look at my men as delicately as I do with my children. I mm. think we all kind of still have to kind of learn that, even from man to man, wife, woman, wife yeah. to man. 
you know what I'm saying? You kind of got to look at everybody as delicate in your household as if it was like a little baby. Like, you know what I mean? And I think we're even learning that even more so as time goes on, like even with the Lonnie in the house, like just deal with everybody. If we deal with everybody with the same love and, and compassion and right. patience and we actually all would kind of so be, it would be a lot it would be a lot more love in the house it'd be a lot more because we all be, we all want that yeah. realistically it'd be easier to be graceful it'd be easier to be to graceful right accept or to right. understand when things aren't going right so and, all that's to say is i think we should just make sure we apologize at least apologize more for it you know what i mean because it is going to be hard to, to shift obviously Every single time, like you know, what I'm saying it could come be very slim to numb where you do it. You probably could get it, but you might just get frustrated or, with somebody. So just make sure that you go back and just say that was me. Like that wasn't me, you, and make sure you take that burden I like on somebody. That. That's fire. It wasn't you. That was me. That was on me. My bad. Like, let me you know add. I mean? on, let me add to that though, right? I think just like let's go back to the example of um saying about me being committed, right? Saying right. I, expressing that that's a hard right. thing for me, right? In the right. beginning. Right. So you can, when you see it, like, yo, babe, you did a good job, right? right? Maybe what about expressing the moments that you don't act out on it, right? Because, right. again, I wouldn't know. Yeah. The moments you don't act out on it, maybe even having a conversation about that, like, yo, babe, you might not have known. But that was but hard for me. That was hard for me, mm, right? I so like maybe that. when, yeah, you might do it eight times. Yeah. And the ninth time now yeah. it's back on me. Not saying that if you lash out it's not wrong, but right. still now because you gave me that, now I might can give you a little more when 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 you when you right. just wake up and be yeah. a little now I can be like have a little more grace. Yeah, she said yeah. that. You because know what it's saying? hard for her. Facts. It's hard for her sometimes yeah. when she comes from work, when she can do you know, Facts. Now she fetch her. It's hard for her when she wake up and all this noise is going on. Facts. Or it's hard for him when it's da, 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 so it just grates. Yeah. Like at least I understand. And now that's just communication all through. around the yeah. board. We apologizing and we we even speak on that before yeah. we get to that point. Look, look at us. Gang, you already know. Let me ask you this then. From a, as a woman though, right? We talk I, I feel like we touched on how a woman can like just take it easy on guys, right? Yeah. Uh, when they again I don't wanna make this just about pregnancy, but any yeah. emotion, anything. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, any circumstance, right. realistically. What is a way men or so even a, a ball that I might have dropped, right? When you was pregnant, that you think I didn't notice or something that Yeah. Men can learn from that to be better to their spouses when they're pregnant. Honestly, I just think pregnant women need a lot of hugs. Mm. Like, I'm being honest. Like, there was just times, like, you were just busy, and I could have just used a hug because it's just a lot of emotion. And it's it wasn't nothing you were doing wrong. I just think pregnant women need a lot of affection, maybe. Just, like, mm. a, a just a little extra at that time because it's just heavy. It's heavy, and sometimes we don't. It's it's hard to explain, and it's nothing to explain. We know we're pregnant. You know we're pregnant, and it's just heavy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And it's tiring. And you know, instead of us constantly every day having to repeat the same things, that's wrong because it's just the same thing. It's nothing you could do for those forty weeks. It's mm. just I'm heavy. I'm tired, and I'm hungry. I'm heavy. I'm tired. I'm hungry. I'm heavier. I'm t more tired, and I'm hungry. And it's instead of us complaining about it twenty thousand, I just think more hugs, more hugs, and a little more love. And it could go a long way, you know, just a little intentional on just the uh, affection and the um, just like I said, that same grace and patience. Like, you know, like even when like um, uh, like the baby's here and Alani's going through her little growth spur and sometimes she's just fussy because she's just growing and she doesn't understand. And I think. You know, the metrics that we've taken with her, just get you just be patient. We comfort her. We let her have her moment. We understand. We rock her. We did. And I think it's the same thing that applies to women at that time. We we were going through this growth spur. We can't understand everything we're going through. We just know that we have to go through it. So comfort us, rock us, hold us like just be there to to show like I just care. You know what I mean? It's the same metric. So let me let me apologize for this first. Right. I feel like. I definitely apologize for not being as affectionate. And I'm going to say yeah. why. Speaking of uh, selfish, right? Mm -hmm. And let's go back to the original definition. I think I don't want to say a lot of times, I, and I don't want to speak for other men. For me, it was hard to be extra affectionate with you because I was unconsciously being selfish with my own feelings because it's like, again, mm -hmm. bro, I'm going through a lot. I yeah. need a hug. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's hard for me to get out of my own way yeah. to give it to you because I yeah. feel like I need it too. And yeah, it's like, you it's feel like, while you're doing that, I got to go work. I'm trying to get the money or whatever. So you could keep sitting down so you could keep, you know, growing the baby. I'm and, tired. I'm running. But yeah, even back to it. the point you said, right? You said, it's crazy that you said this because unconsciously I'm thinking the opposite. Like you like, yo, 
I want somebody to care for me. Mm-hmm. I'm getting a lot of attention for what I have, yeah. but I'm not getting a lot of attention for who mm-hmm. I am, right? Mm-hmm. And for me as a man, I'm looking at it like, bro, we all caring for you because you got the kid, mm-hmm. yeah. right? So I'm like, yo, but you, you getting cared for, but nobody got, cared for me at all. Like, you feel me? I'm looking at like, whole time, you looking at it like, Fair. you not getting cared for. People Fair. only, it's, it's, it's stipulations com- yep. uh, attached to the love that people were giving you because you have something, mm-hmm. right? I'm looking at it like, man. Because I don't have nothing. Nobody cares about I'm me. not even thinking that deep. Yeah. I'm just saying we are loving you, right? Yeah. I'm looking, I'm not even understanding that I'm only caring, extra, giving you extra care because you have a child. I'm not even, mm-hmm. I'm not even able to fat or think about mm-hmm. that, right? So I'm thinking I am giving you the love. I'm like, bro, what about me? Mm-hmm. Whole time, we both not getting it. Mm-hmm. And we de- definitely got to be. Just in general, yeah. people got to do better at being intentional with giving each and, other. And love. lean in. I think it's just a time to lean in. I think fortunately for us, we were placed in positions where we had to lean in on each other. We were kind of forced to because we're in a new city. We we don't have our core support here, and we had to lean in on each other. And I think that it forced us to do it, but it was a good thing for us to be able mm. to do that and have that moment to do that. But even if we were around supporters, I think that blocking out the noise and leaning in on each other extra care for one another, it just can really groom the situation to be a, a little more pleasant, a little more lighter. Because mm. it's going to be heavy either way, no matter what you put it. I don't want nobody to think it's just not going to be heavy. It is. Pregnancy is not no joke, not for the man or the woman. It's mm. just not It's not an easy walk. It's a lot that comes with that process. Um, but I think it's, it's doable just leaning on one another, like heavily leaning on one another on what each other needs. Speaking on leaning in, right, um, we hear a lot of this from two different spectrums and I'm curious to to uh to hear your opinion on it mm-hmm. what you think. Mm-hmm. We got engaged while you was pregnant. Right. Uh, that's right. I, like I feel like it's it's two different type of yeah. conversations around that. Like you shouldn't do that, right? Because honestly like having a kid is a lot. It's right? a right you lot. don't know what's like oh and it, and it, it's it's so funny. <laughs> you wanna know the honest truth. Yeah. So I had no idea you were gonna propose at the baby shower. Mm. But one day I was being a cunt. This was early in my relationship, early in um, the pregnancy, excuse me. And I was like, I think I was telling like Diamond or something. I was like, Jay better not propose to me at the baby shower because we need two separate moments, mm. right? You did it. Of course, I didn't think about it. I or think whatever. you told me that too. Yeah, but I, of course that happened. I was just excited. I wasn't thinking about it. I was like, oh my God, bitch, you know, <laughs> fiance. But uh, it's, you know, it's just funny that you say that because I remember just early on, just, you know, we have a girl talk. We just chat. And I'm like, uh-uh, this thing had been a not proposed to me at my baby shower you know what i'm saying you ain't gonna try you know two for one deal with me you better think about it on your free time mm. not when i'm giving you no baby i think that you know when it happened it didn't bother me but you know, you know i what I'm did saying? that though yeah 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 well more so because we moved it was a yeah, it was, it was, was really a, it's a way to get everybody in one spot at one time yeah. i understood why you did it it made yeah. tons of sense you know what i'm saying all my friends were gonna be there like you know, it was like perfect timing got it no that's what I said in hindsight, like yeah, yeah. you know. But that was just a joke that we were like talking shit. I I don't know. I can't really see a girl really like. Uh uh-uh, uh, you proposed to me, my baby shower. Uh uh-uh, uh, I'm not. I'm, no, do it again. I'm not saying it's not girls who would do it, but I don't think that's really like a big deal. So do you think? I, uh, I know a lot more women that get proposed. just proposing because we see a lot of times people so propose now, what I will pregnancy say and they is call it now, off a couple months later. Yes, like, do you is that I, a smart thing? This is what I. Th- I there is no right or wrong answer. I don't want to call something smart or not smart. Um, you know, postpartum ain't no hoe. Like mm. it's it's it's. I mean, you said it the other day. Like it, the best of them who lack sleep and lacks food can be the illest monster you could find. Yeah. Like you know what I'm trying to say. And you know, through this postpartum stage, like you know, we're lacking sleep. We're tired as hell, even right now. Facts. You know what I'm saying? We're running on eat right now, <laughs> like straight up. Like yeah. we're running on eat. We tired. We can't keep our. We trying to make sure we eat right, but we around the clock with a newborn right now. It's hard. Like you know what I mean? I think that you know s- some foundations. It's hard to make it through that process. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like a food, like a sleep. However. I don't think it's a bad thing. I just think you, you gotta make sure your foundation's solid. Like you know what I mean. You gotta make sure y'all leaning in on each other. It ain't. Uh, this is we not we are not competing and comparing. We're we're, we're collaborators. You mm. get what I'm trying to say. Like we're doing this together. It's not a, who did this more. Or who it's not a contest. Like we're really leaning in. You got that? Okay, I got this. You got that? I got this. I got this this time. You got that. And I think we ended up executing that flawlessly mm. and without conversation. And it might have just been, like I said, we had a, our prep time to lean in on each other through the pregnancy forcefully, but it worked. You know what I'm saying? But I think 
you have to get in line before that comes because it's, it, it gets it's hard. It's hard. I don't know if I would suggest proposing while your girl is pregnant. I don't know. Um, you, you you have a regret? Nah. So the only thing I will say, like, it's, it's, it's my regret. mine ain't got nothing to do with the pregnancy or nothing. I just feel like it pushes the wedding and stuff out because now you have a baby and now and now like. Right now, we gotta get through this newborn stage and get and get household and right. I, you know, planning a wedding, which we are doing, and you know, we are doing other things too, courthouse, whatever. Our stage of how we're gonna do it, however, but certain things gotta be pushed out, like it do. I'm, I mean, she, so that she, that was for me, but it wasn't she, really the postpartum stage. Well, and again, I could be a little biased because our postpartum stage is working out well right now. You know what I mean? So, I, you know, it's funny. I, um. I think I was talking to this before, about it before. I mean, unless you like getting pregnant like super early in a relationship, and what? it might sound crazy, I would suggest proposing earlier in the relationship than waiting a couple years down the line. I don't think so. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna call that one enough if we did I'm, that. I'm gonna tell you why. A year to win. No, I'm gonna be a wrap. I mean, I'm gonna tell you why though. I feel like, and that would have cost a lot more hardship. No, nah, no, nah, but it's it's uh, harder to come it's back e- from. Nah, it's easy to say that, but you never know. I say that to say, look at everything we went through. Okay, right. Me personally, I think it's so much harder to propose going through so much because now you know. Not not even that. It's, we look at each other differently. Think mm-hmm. about how think about the times we had when we yeah. first met each other. Like mm-hmm. how you looked at me, how I looked. Like just think yeah. about those times. It was great times, right? Yeah. And again, because we human, we go through some things. You don't look at me the same. You feel me? Like even if we're working through it, and that's fine. I'm just saying, I feel like, and just everything is being a man. Just everything, mm-hmm. them, all the time that. Let me talk about from from my perspective. All the time that I put in as a man, it's kind of like, <laughs> it's gonna sound crazy. It's it's kind of for nothing, because now the real work starts. When we get married, so all, <laughs> think about we did all those years, and we all, still got to get married. Bro, all six, yeah. almost six years, we did right. Yeah, and we still got to get married. And the real work starts when we get married. So it's like, bro, we, we should well get married. We should have just got. We should have been married. We could have been married I, for six I get years. That. I, I'm think, not. I, I get what why, you're saying. Let me ask you this: I wouldn't. I wouldn't tell my daughter this. Mm-hmm. My best friend is why. If I was your best friend, right? If I was mm-hmm. a woman, I don't know why go through all that with anybody, and you don't have no so ring. Question. Do, Agree. So a question. So you know how a lot of people like a man who know no. Mm. You get what I'm trying to say? A man don't gotta wait five years, six years to propose. They know first six months, a year, mm-hmm. whatever. What's the that to me? It would be you saying the same thing. It depends on the age, right? I had to arrive here to to understand right. this. But imagine all the places you did not arrive at that time. That's what I'm saying. Like I I didn't know this. At 26. So I think, so for me, I think it's backwards a little to what you're saying, my perspective. I just think like if, if, if you like say in our situation, Mm -hmm. if you would have proposed that early and then we would have hit all those stops, I would have been felt, I would have felt more compelled to leave because I wouldn't have wanted to have been trapped. You know what I'm trying to say? I wouldn't want to have been trapped in situations that like, damn, we hit here, we hit here. Oh no, 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 no. I don't want to get married now because this is where we are. I I feel like I kind of had to forgive you or you had to forgive me. To move past it, to understand what we already got, we yeah. already know each other. We already know what we're getting. We're gonna talk about. We're gonna talk about. It. Okay, go ahead. Babe, the vows say to death do us part. Okay. So, so all I'm saying is, if we got, if we took them vows, right? Yeah. Whatever we went through, yeah, right. We should better work through that. Okay. Because of marriage, because of what we have on paper. I agree with what you're saying, right? And even even if we're going to talk about it, we're going to talk about it. Even our spiritual journey that we're on right now in following, trying to follow the word to the T, right? Mm. It would have been I, done. It would have been done because then I wasn't where I'm at now. Yeah, I mean, you know what I'm saying? So then I would have been more compelled to have a divorce because, yes, I hear what God's saying and I love God. However, I'm not getting trapped to you. You acting like this because you're getting on my fucking nerves and you're going to make me kill you. No, but I'm I mean, not doing that. Mm-mm. We talked about it, but it also, like, I mean. What? It, the vows would have been probably broken or something like that. Like, it's just been, uh, hey. Yeah. <laughs> just, I mean, yeah, so all I mean, vows would have, like, you know. That's but who knows? Just, I probably, no, no, no. I'm going to give myself more. No, 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 no. I'm going to give myself more credit than that. No, but anyway, I say that. Say. All I'm saying is we didn't, I feel like 
it makes more sense to me for us to get married now because I feel like all the places we had to arrive due to what we've been through. Not getting married because of what we've been through, because of who we transformed into to get married. Mm. And I feel like we wouldn't have been those people at that time. And I'm not saying that it couldn't have happened. I just know, like, for example, like I said, say you did propose at the time. And I just know for a fact certain things would have happened that I would have never got over and I would have felt more strong on it because we were married. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's one thing I, how you look at something when you're just boyfriend and girlfriend, but now, nigga, we're married. Oh, mm. you really got me messed up. Like, mm. you really, no, I, I really should really dig no, your grave. I, I, like, I, for I, real. I get it. It's just, I don't know, just looking back on it, it's hard to, like. But I get your point. It's, it's sound a, like, that's a for fair me, point. It's, like it's, it's all in vain. Like, I hate it. Like, looking back on it, like, I could have been. But, it's, shit, but I it would have been the same thing. It was like, it was like okay, you get married, and then you just go through all this shit while you're married. Now you hate your wife. Now you cheating. He cheating. Y'all got side bitches and side niggas. And, like, you know how many marriages are, like, in those spaces? Like, child, we not going to break up because to death do us part. But you do you. I do me. And that's just what it is. We walking around. We ain't really happy, but we here because we're you, married. You seen that? Remember that video? Which, man, uh, which the, video? The, the, the chick that was, like, she got, oh, yes. she got yeah. caught. Well, he got caught cheating. And, and she, she said she's not going to divorce him. But he's gonna let her have her side piece like he did, and Let me see yeah. What, find it. what you think about that? <laughs> Is this a trick question? I know. What I mean. Could we do that? Is this a trick question? I don't know. I gotta get married first to have this discussion. I'm not a married woman. <laughs> and- <laughs> I'm, just, I'm curious. I gotta, I gotta be Where married. Where you are now? Is it, is you, could you do that? I'm. I'm just not a. Polygamy is not really my thing. Mm. I, you know, I don't really care for it. Like, I'm really like, we either doing this or we not. Now, I'm not saying, like, what I'm single, I'm single. Um, but if we doing this, we doing so this. So basically when you're single, you're a little hoe. Sure. Whatever you want to call it, babe. Just call it what you do. That's crazy. I didn't say you, you look did. At me in my I'm face just saying that? whatever you want to call it. Okay? You said it so I, confidently and bullied. When I, I'm single, I'm single. I'm outside. I didn't say I'm outside. That's I said when I'm single, said. I'm single. All right, whatever. Because single bad. is a single. It's not a plural. It's just I'm single, I'm single. Sometimes single bring a lot of plural. I'm single. All right, my bad. All right, so, <laughs> you you, so you, you ask the single people questions. You so you couldn't I mean? do that? I'm not really, nah. Like, that's not really my vibe. Like, I'd rather just go. I'm gonna be honest. I'd rather go. You go. You go do what you want to do. I'm gonna do what I want to do. We're not finna play. I'm not about to play games back and forth with you because I feel like once you start those Olympics, it's like it's not gonna it's not gonna work well. Everybody's gonna be on. Everybody gotta get they look back. Like now I did it. Now you even matter because I did it. Even though you did it first, it's not like now. Nah, now you got me looking crazy. But if it's an agreement, nah, I, I mean, I don't really feel like men can uphold like open, that agreement. Open relationships. I exist. don't feel like men can uphold that. An uh, open relationship. I think. No, I don't actually. I think men talk that shit, and I think if their girl was really getting smashed with their legs up, how you had on the table that way, and you knew and you saw it and you could think about it, you would not do that. You would not allow that. I know you wouldn't. I know you wouldn't. You don't know that. I know you would not. <laughs> you don't know that. You don't know what I'm up for. You yeah, know like, nah, Cause if you get yours so. and I'm gonna get mine and I'm get, I think I'm getting mine real good, then shit, I ain't worried about what, what you, you mean, getting. Real good. I'm saying I might not be worried about what you getting if I'm getting mine real good. I'm just saying you Why never you know. Why do you keep saying real good? Cause I just might be getting it real good, so whatever you doing might be cool. But nah, if we been real, that's real nah, crazy. Nah, nah, if we been real, babe, I'm gonna keep all the hundred. Be honest, since we been honest okay. here. Okay. At one time, I thought I could handle it. It was one point in my life I thought I could handle it, and with then me? yeah, yeah, like just with anybody. Let me tell you why. You thought that you could have multiple women. I or thought like, I could handle uh, like being in poly- a relationship. Uh, no, you relationship. doing your thing, I'm oh, doing okay. my thing. Yeah. And then. Mm-hmm. Recently, I heard something. What? I think it was Shabazz the OG. Okay. And he made so much sense. What did he say? He was like, y'all can have an agreement all you want. Mm-hmm. Y'all can have that agreement, but it ain't about y'all. You got to look at the other people that, that you're you bring bringing in. into What's your relationship. What's agreement? You get what I'm saying? Now, now when you, you might be giving this to somebody real, real good. Mm-hmm. And now they might, their feelings might get tied up into it. And it's no telling what they'll yeah. do to you or your partner because they want you. It's right? true. People are really insane these days. Yeah, and that's the, I just feel like even if you could, is even it wor- is it worth is not the the, the, the not, stress? I, I just don't think it's worth it. So even if you could, and, and it's realistically, not worth it. like for example, even you, you have two jobs, a baby, a stepchild. Like, how do you even juggle multiple things? Not you even don't. just you, but just people. No, like, you don't. if you're like, you have to have a like a lot of time on your hands to do that. To me. Yeah, because I'm just to thinking. Me, I'm, you have to have like, a lot. And so I'm trying to just play it. devil's advocate because even if I'm like, like, let's say I'm going out 
or something. Mm-hmm. First of all, I don't even go out. <laughs> it's just like, I don't even, no. like, yeah, like, picture if you, I don't know, you could probably get it yeah. when you go out type, but it's like, nah. It's even just, that, it's just, I don't know. Yeah, it's not, nah, I mean, you're right. Yeah, I just don't, if you grown, grown, I don't really see it. And then, honestly, though, way. but I said this from the jump. Not to say y'all not grown, if y'all, I'm just saying that. But I said this from the jump, grown, though. Bro. I'm trying to get all my good karma, though. Period. Like, I ain't, like. Hey, listen, yeah. man, I'm trying. Yeah. I'll tell my friends. It's, it's really like, true. What you put out is what you get. I'm, I'm trying, trying to tell you. I, listen, I, I want to get married. I want to be a faithful husband. Period. Like, listen, I'm being real talking. That's just me being selfish. Yeah. I, I need all my good karma. Like, I'm not, nah, I'm not playing with God mm-hmm. like that. Like, we mm-hmm. could joke about it, but I'm not, I'm not, nah. I ain't, yeah. I ain't, on, I ain't on that time. Well, I'm proud of us for growth. Yeah, facts. You know? I love you, baby. Yeah, I love you too. Get all that good juju. Right. You feel me? Real. And we said we were gonna go to the uh the courthouse to get married. I, I was kind of like, yeah. I seen that? some. Um, we said we was gonna do the courthouse and do the destination wedding, right? Yeah. Destination ready, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but when you when you said when you said you was for it, I was like, I yeah, was I not expecting seen, you to say that. I actually seen in some very fire like courthouse like little vibes, and then they have their destination wedding after. But I just feel like you know like um. When you said it, I thought I had to think about it for a second because I was like, this nigga trying to short me? Nah. I, I did. I was like, uh-uh. Why he trying to give me the money? Like I said, I want my good res- karma. I'm trying to get married. Yeah, like, I'm not right even way. trying to wait, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so I'm I trying it. to... Like, I ain't trying to wait, bro. I don't yeah. need to wait. Well, to I put like, everything in a notepad. Like, you asked yeah, yeah. me to. You ain't even really take a peek at it. Nah, if you can handle it for me. What the fuck? I propose. <laughs> bro, I gave you... That's like, uh... That's like... I'm saying if you could call him and set it up. No? Is that... You're not supposed to do that? All right. I got you. Cool. You propose? I, you propose? I don't know. I mean, no, if, it's, right. if, if your friends say you that's see not how, how that go? listen. If y'all you listen, said I propose, if I'm I not supposed, do, listen. Now I gotta do all the back end work. <laughs> yeah, like I'm just. I gotta like, do all the paperwork. Yeah, that's crazy. You so you gotta do the fun stuff. For real? Yeah. That's the heavy duty looking. Facts. I'm just joking. Okay, yeah, yeah. No, but I like at first I was like this nigga trying to jit me. No, nah. um, you I don't even play like that though. Yeah, and I had to think about it. Like no, like it's just I think uh, getting all your paperwork. So first of all, we wanted to do a destination wedding anyway. And what I've realized is a lot of people actually said to do the courthouse first and then do your destination wedding because if you get married in a foreign country, it's actually it's way even, harder to do the paperwork yeah. and to tie those loose ends. I don't even think it reason. counts. I don't think that's real. Because remember when yeah. we went to Jamaica and like people be getting married. Yeah, I don't yeah, even yeah. think that's like. Yeah, yeah. No, that's just the ceremony, yeah. basically. I just want to. Our kids are calling. Oh, really? What's wrong with my chummy? No, you gotta hold her. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta. You, you can't, can't be put lazy her, yeah. with her, baby. Put her on your chest. Just let her move around. Keep moving around. She probably just, she might be full. I need to use the bathroom. Is it hot in there? Yeah, you just, yeah. Uh, you just gotta keep moving around a little bit. She just probably wants some comfort. Okay. Give me five minutes. I'm gonna call you right back. Okay, five minutes. Okay. Nah, I facts. Might think yeah. She's sick. She can't tie. And you know it's, it's crazy because like <laughs> I feel like I might want to. You know, I yeah. be saying it, but like I probably want the wedding just as much as you. The, the yeah. reception and all that good yeah. stuff. Like I like that. Type yeah, stuff. no. Like, so either way, I felt like we would have. And we going to do the prenup. First. Tell your people. Go ahead. Say it with your chest. <laughs> yeah. Say it with your chest. Um. <clears throat> with stipulations. I ain't no st- the prenup no. is the stipulation. Yeah, I know. I'm just want to clarify. It's just no, I don't try to make it sound no. better. That's no, all you're trying to do is so people it, want. No, I need people. I need it to sound better because it sounds ridiculous. <laughs> it's I'm, not ridiculous. It's, but it's a not. prenup it's is not. a contract. That's yeah, it. it's not. It's not. I just I, like we it, twist it, things. It was, it, it was another thing that you said, and I was like, let me. But no, these these put things in place. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for both of us though. Yeah. Like, it yeah. Ain't, yeah, I'm not about to. Yeah, for sure, I don't. I, it just sound bad. Yeah, it do. Like, that has nah. a negative note. But I'm never going to leave you hanging, like, ever. Yeah, of course. Is to make sure you get it's yours. It's going to be in the contract. For sure, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, this is this is good, baby. Yeah, it was you like great. it? How you, I loved it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First time, our first time back in, what, like four months, five months, six months? Because you, you, we did one when you was pregnant. We did 78 while you was pregnant. I was pregnant. Yeah, we said we were going to tell them, but we didn't know to tell them. I was yeah. pregnant. We had a good old production there, yeah, too. Yeah, that was like six months, probably. Yeah, that was good. Seven. Yeah, we said 79, yeah. dinner. Yep. 79. Episode 79. Gemini Scorpio Podcast. Uh, let them know where to follow you, everything. She dot Shade. You already know. Yo, follow make me. sure y'all please subscribe to the channel. Yes. Um, you know what? Like, subscribe. I'm going to do What this. does Ring the Bell do? Put in a notification so every time we drop, they right. know we drop. 
Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Yo. Ring this is what I'm gonna do. Shout out to Mozzie. Send this. Yeah, shout out to my guy Mozzie. Shout out to uh, Amy too. Shout out to Amy. This is what I'm gonna do. If you subscribe to the audio, leave a comment on the audio, Gemini Scorpio Podcast, on Apple Podcasts, Spotify Podcasts, wherever you listen to your podcast. Subscribe to the audio, write a comment, send it to 10 people. Mm. I'm going to choose one person to give $100 to you. Ooh, I know what I ain't going to lie. On. I'm going to choose. I, he you giving see, out money. You see how I'm going to choose one person. Yeah. All you got to do is just send me. He's giving it. out say, money. Say, yo, on. I did it. You feel me? Comment under the uh, YouTube video. Comment. Uh, send me a DM. Say, yo, I heard episode 79. I did it. And I'm going to choose one person. If you it, So if you only one person to do it, you're going to get the $100. So, Period. yo, all you got to do is subscribe to the audio, not the video. Subscribe to the audio. Leave a comment. Send it to 10 people. Period. $100. Gemini Scorpio Podcast, Mr. Underscore J Hill. She dot Sade. Uh, it's a wrap. We out. We out. <sighs>